Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this video is going to show how the UCS works and that's the user coordinate system. Now when you're drawing in 2D and a lot of your 3D work you're working in the world coordinate system which is the default that comes in with a new drawing where your origin is at 0, 0, 0 your x goes your x-axis moves in one direction your y-axis and your z-axis are all related so here's my origin right here and if I click on uh, this endpoint here it would be in my positive x-axis there's my positive y and that's great if you're drawing on a flat surface so if I draw this circle here it's right where I would expect it to be in a regular 2D drawing. But what if I want to draw on a different plane? Maybe I want to draw on the front here or on this angled surface or on the top here. Now part of the top would be the easiest because I could just move it up in the z-axis. But this angled one would be difficult if I want to draw a circle on here. So to do that what I have to do is enter in the UCS command and the option I like to use is my three point and the reason for that is it's one I've always used it works in a, pretty much every version of AutoCAD I've ever worked with and so the first thing it's going to do is ask me for my origin so I'm setting a new origin point which is going to be right here I'm using my O snaps Next it looks for my positive x-axis, which is going to be straight out here. You can see how it's already aligning the UCS icon. And then it looks for my y-axis. And once again, making sure I got my O snap and being careful, because if this, if this is off just a bit, it really messes up your drawing. So now, if I draw a circle, I can still use my O snaps, my object tracking, and just enter in a 0.5. And so I can extrude this circle now. And just go down here. And if I subtract, subtract from here, and now I've got a new hole drilled in my wedge here. So you can see it goes straight down through there. Looks like I didn't use my uh, object tracking very well. It's a little off center, but that wasn't the point of this lesson, so we'll deal with that at another time. So now you can see how it's easy to draw on a different plane. Something that maybe a gets a little tougher now is, say if I want to go back to my familiar southwest isometric view so you can see how it's kind of looking like everything's skewed but since I've changed my origin and my UCS everything's a little different so what I'm going to do now is change my UCS back to where it was and I could also press enter to go back to the world coordinates system or type in P for previous which also gets me there and now if I click on my southwest view you can see it right there actually that's so it takes a little bit of getting used to here in 3D land but we're just going to show a couple, one other thing here. Um, for a lot of times, there's, as you've seen in this UCS command, you've got a lot of options. And this is all described in my tutorials in level 3. But I'm going to show you one other option here. And this is toggled on with your F6 key. And this is dynamic UCS. So you can see I've hit F6, you can't see it on my keyboard, but it does to say right here that dynamic UCS is on. So now if I go to draw a circle, I start this circle command, 
and what it will do is highlight each plane that I could draw on. So say if I want to draw on the top, I just select there and there's my circle on the top. Draw another circle and then uh, I can go up from my midpoint to midpoint and there's a circle there. If I want to draw a line, I can draw one from this quadrant to the other quadrant. Draw another line, and now I'm on that plane. So you can see how it can be a lot faster, but you really want to make sure you understand how the UCS works before you start using dynamic UCS because you might end up drawing things on planes you don't really want to so pay attention um, use it if you're doing any kind of 3d work that is more than your most basic stuff you're gonna be wanting to learn how to use the UCS and use it properly just like in the very first lessons I taught you on my CAD site uh, where you're learning just the basic X and Y axis. Learning the UCS can be that important when you're working in 3D. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been MyCADSite.com. Check out the website for a free AutoCAD course. Uh, there's uh, lots of tutorials, lots of videos, and it's all free. Thanks for watching.